a glittering occasion. It is the final, but only one side can emerge victorious. Who's it going to be? This is EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And with the start of the league season just days away now, we have action from the curtain raiser for you to enjoy. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? And running in behind. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Marino. And the keeper able to hold on to it. It's looking promising. gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. How about the cross? Well, the supporters think it's on. Ter Stegen was always going to make that save. Well, they couldn't keep it. Mikel Marino and Torres on the ball. De Jong, plenty of support here, but the danger averted for now. Oh, what an opportunity! Still could be dangerous. And second time around, he scores, but the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Ferran Torres. Promising move from Barcelona. But timely defending when it mattered. Could be dangerous. Could be. Still a chance. And a goal. Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Frankie de Jong. Here's Rafinha. 
This looks more than decent. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Playing it in. Really clever pressing. Wonderful chance. Well, no examination at all for the goalkeeper. And on that basis, he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Looking threatening. Cross fired over. Having to shoot. Shot block, but still alive. And it's come off the keeper. The threat was there, but no problems now. Kunde. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time. Midfield are completely dominated. Oh, Stuart, they must score! Can they keep it out? Oh, dear, oh, dear. He went for placement, but a really tame effort, you have to say. a pop from here and the keeper getting across to stop it corner kick played in really fine piece of defending play to break us up and with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Barca's first half struggles were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it in this half? Keeper, there to deal with it. Hey. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, still an issue here. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. The accuracy department leaving a bit to be desired. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping.
trying to pick out a teammate. It might still be problematic. Torres. Well, it's not going to count. Flag up quickly then. Yeah, he was offside by quite a bit there, and he knew it. on for that challenge. Mikel Marino. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they use it to their advantage? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Real chance! And putting Fay to the danger. Joao Cancelo. They've ceded possession, Barca. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Oh, off the post, still alive. Cuts it back. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt, a long way wide. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Mikel Marino. And into the last 20 minutes. Oh, this looks useful. Forcing him. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. shortage of goals in this match 3-1 well that's how to keep the opposition at bay a quarter of an hour remaining here Kunde now who can he play it to can he put it away? And there it is! That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. David. And Torres on the ball. Mikel Marino. Difficult to stop him. A gift for any goalkeeper. there to intercept can he find the right pass happy to shoot no way through he's in with a 
Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. A glut of goals. Five, one it is. Mikel Marino. Marino, and no problems at all for the keeper. And there goes the final whistle. They have earned the right to call themselves Super Cup victors. And you can see what it means to them. They really did want to win this trophy. Good scenes here. A lot of effort went into it. And the players proud of their achievement, as they should be. Well, winning becomes a habit, and that's what this club are trying to achieve at the moment. And this is another good victory. For now, the players are allowed to be more carefree. It's party time. Yeah, there's a lot of hard work ahead, and the players know it. But at the moment, they're full of the joys of spring. OK, welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming. We're going to start with questions now. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this up now. Thank you very much for attending. It's the opening day of a new Premier League season. Both teams will be looking to start quickly. You can feel the excitement in the air. Hello, it's great to be with you. And I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And there are a few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. Oh, could be! Can they put it away? And a time for cool heads. Well, he's won the ball. Being egged on by the crowd. And a goal! Right off the bat! No wonder they're jumping for joy! Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal.
back underway. 1-0 it is. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. Facing his former club, facing his past. And that's not always straightforward, is it, Stuart? Well, it can work either way. Some players are inspired and play really well. Some feel overawed. I hope for his sake it's the first. Excellent block. Nicely timed tackle. De Jong. This could level it. Oh, oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. And now to level the game. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Delivering it. And under pressure, not on the target. Well, it's frustration for the manager. That should have been the equaliser. Space on the flank. Oh, he's gone for goal. Still possibilities. And it's gone in! The teams have separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. And Phillips has it. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Well, it could be on for him here. Wandered opportunity there. Anderson. Guehi. Now with Lerma. McNeil. Gives it a go. Vital intervention. for goal still could be dangerous and there's a quality defender in action firing it in tremendous block and in the perfect position to read it Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Oh, he could be in here, Derek. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. 
Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. So moving once more, and Palace right back in this contest now. Oh, good strike! Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Jordi Classy, and he has options available. Could pull one back here, and he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline, the belief is back. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement, and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Well, you can see the frustration in his face. His team have just switched off here. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. The fans want to see a shot, and still a chance. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. And a fine tackle. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Going well. Happy to shoot. Keeper getting the touch. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Anderson. And Lerma. De Jong. And into the last 30 minutes now. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. A fine reading of the situation. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, a disappointing end to that break. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Not the best challenge, free kick. So two substitutes to come on in one go. And the keeper took it cleanly. And the 
been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. Twenty minutes to go in this one. And he might be through here. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. It might be on for them. Still possibilities. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Real chance. Ball is loose. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today. Now, plenty of live football coming your way, right here on EA TV. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. And he's fired over the corner. And did his job defensively. The tackle completely mistimed. And you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there. But it was certainly a foul. Might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. On the attack in the closing phase. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Oh, breezing past him. And the shot just over the top. So, two minutes to be added on at the end. This could finish it! And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel, and it's a good run, matched by a very cool finish. What a great goal that is. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yeah, I thought they were good with the ball today, but they didn't defend well as a team. And that could be a concern going forward. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today. Just a couple of questions for you.
thanks so much for your time. That's all the questions we have for you. All eyes on Sergei Milinkovic Savic. The occasion is first appearance for the club. <laughs> and we're live on EA TV. And a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, Derek, it was a decent start by the visitors in their opening fixture. They will, however, need to defend better today if they're to make it six out of six. But some of their attacking play was excellent in that opening game. As eyes for goal, and a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see, the ideal way to begin. Well, just look at this again. It's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. The action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. A City free kick forthcoming. Plenty of talk about him from the pundits coming into today's match, taking on his old club, and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some reason, playing against your old club can be difficult. You just feel that bit of added pressure. I hope it doesn't affect him today. Running with the ball confidently. Can they convert? And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No one! Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Possession lost, intercepted. And it might be. Well, they just couldn't make it happen. Bowden. And a play it goes. He was under a bit of pressure. This could be troublesome. Very quick thinking there. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Making a bit of headway. Chance to reduce the arrears. And there is the goal. 
goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Well, as you can see from his reaction, his team have just lost their way here. And he's not happy, is he? Well, the action underway again. Can City go hunting for an equaliser now? Right, quickly over to Alex Scott. A good moment for an update, Alex. There's been a goal at Bramall Lane. Yes, it's a goal for Sheffield United. Now jumping in because this could be promising for them. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. It's looking promising. Can he put it away? Oh, he saved it well. And over it comes. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Well, pressure building. Another corner. They take it short. Shaping to shoot. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. to take it short here and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well as you'll have noticed we had to cut Alex a bit short just then to confirm Sheffield oh big chance Wow, that is high-level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality, I would say. Well, it's frustration for the manager. That should have been the equaliser. Short corner taken. Spot on with that tackle. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Well, opting for the short corner. Being pressed hard. Fire again towards goal. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And play short. On a struggle to get it away properly. the challenge that was required well let's see what they have in store for them on the break can he finish this oh just narrowly off target well they broke with such pace and intent fantastic move just couldn't quite cap it off well I think it's fair to say he's not overly pleased is he And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes.
Holland. Might be able to get in behind the defence. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And so the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Etihad. The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? And making headway. Chances on. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Well, I can't believe City are losing here. They've created so many good opportunities. But unless they score soon, they'll start to get frustrated. Oh, That's wait a short. moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Possession lost. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional. And that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. Might work out. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Back underway at 3 1. He's got to have a go here. Well, it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end. Now we're into the final half hour. Showing a real will to win the ball. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Manchester City facing Everton. Crossing opportunity. No let up on the pressing front. Now can they counter clinically? Can they use it to their advantage? Erling Haaland! It's still alive! Oh no! Not a moment the keeper will want to revisit. Well, he's got to pick himself up now. Well, here it is again. And quite clearly, that's an own goal. He's a bit unfortunate, really. Back underway, and a glut of goals here, 3-2. And into the last 20 minutes. Alex Scott has an update for us, breaking developments at Villa Park, Alex. It's another goal for Aston Villa. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great-headed finish. They've pulled ahead by three with 72 minutes played. Alex... Well, we 
have a plethora. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? Oh, couldn't beat the goalkeeper and really should have been able to. OK, Alex Scott, you have a goal to tell us about at Bramall Lane. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, in it goes! Now they're level! Who saw this coming? Incredible! Well, let's have another look at this because Haaland shows great skill to go beyond the defender and then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. Well, he knows this is going to be a tough game now. He's got to get his side playing again here. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Santana. And apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. To confirm, Newcastle United have scored in that match. And their lead stands at 3-1. Making a bit of headway. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, it's off the post. Well, that was so close, wasn't it? Will there be one more twist in the tail before the end? Let's hope so. Not made it look routine, but read it well. Could be dangerous. Can he keep his composure? Everson and goal made it look easy. Oh, a really good save, and it remains all square. Well, he's just saved his team from defeat here. It's a great save, I would say. Oh, good vision. It's still alive. Looked as though it might be the decisive goal, but the keeper had other ideas. Well, he's just saved his team here. What a reaction that is. And time for the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, there it is. Quite clearly, it takes a deflection, and that's enough to beat the keeper. Not much you could do there. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, I've been really impressed with them, Derek. They've shown a lot of good qualities in their first couple of games. I think they're going to have an excellent season. I really do. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. Hi, sorry, can we just grab a moment of your time? Thank you so much for your time.
a fitting backdrop for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on... Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. Opportunity it is. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. He must finish. And that will be a corner. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Jared Bowen plays with Maxwell Cornet out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, a really good run. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. A corner will ensue. And there's the delivery. Well, not away properly. And able to close down the shot. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's gonna be the outstanding player today. Can he find the right pass? Oh, fancy footwork, but no damage done. That's the main thing. And he's through here. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. See what happens next. He's in behind. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. And a shot from Miles out. Putting his body on the line. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. deliver it with accuracy oh splendid header but a fine save it's one thing to sit deep it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep alert defending now perhaps they can counter from here feeding it through can he put it away opportunity still there and it's in what a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, disappointment, anger, frustration, whatever is going through his mind, he needs to get his team going again here. So the ball is rolling again at one all. 
Oh, good looking run. He's got to score. And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. Well, he senses a goal is coming here. It's just a case of being more clinical now. And West Ham did well to win the ball back. He's in here. Still a chance. And it's come off the keeper. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with. But where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. So almost at the break here, and not quite going to plan for the home side. What to do, Stuart? Well, it's certainly been an open game, with chances for both teams. But they must start winning some of those... Now, hold on, Stuart, they're in here. Oh, magnificent reaction. And space for them here on the flank. Oh, to level the match. And it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And what a good finish this is. He just guides that beyond the keeper. A very tidy goal. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Maxwell Cornet. Strong play here. Maxwell Cornet. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, as we highlight him, you've got to say he's been well below his usual high standards. Normally so composed in the middle of the park, Stuart. Well, it's been one of those days for him. He hasn't had that much of the ball, and when he has, he's given it away. Without his creativity, I'm not sure they get a winner here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Might be a chance here. And choosing finesse, he might be wishing he hadn't. Well, it's good vision, but not the skill to match, I'm afraid. them in their tracks just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack well, he has the measure of his man has a go 
Well, and the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. Now, to restore their lead here. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and it makes a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. could really get at the opposition. A disappointing end to the move. Well, here's an interesting story, one that perhaps a few of you saw coming. John Stones has completed his move to Old Trafford. Yeah, that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. And a goal! and finishing just can't stop him today well two on one the keeper has no chance here as you can see it's a well taken goal in the end I have to say, Moyes looks really contented, and so he should be. His team have been really good today. And time for the change now. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Nice a pass. Safe, but still a chance. And they could get one back here. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. He's driven in the corner. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Mohamed Kudus. Here's a match coming up on EA TV. Derek, this could be a goal here. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. So the ball rolling again, and West Ham really starting to accelerate away. Why? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit, that's a good finish. 
great composure. Scoreline we see all that often, 5-3. Oh, good vision. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, he's missed it. And that might be the fake seal. Well, that must be it. He surely had to score there. Well, it was a chance to get back into the game. But overall, he knows his team haven't been good enough at key moments. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's West Ham United facing Everton. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Gift for any goalkeeper. And easily cut out in the end. Now options are plenty. Could reduce the deficit. And it sets up a furious finish. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. And he brought her the attack with a masterful tackle. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, they weren't good enough today and really didn't deserve to get anything from the game. I would say they should be slightly concerned with their start to the season. Can we ask you a question? Thank you, that's all the questions we've got for you.